the British Army has declared its new R-64E Apache helicopters ready for frontline duty after participating in Exercise Iron Titan. According to the service, one of its regiments tested every aspect of the rotary wing aircraft, from logistics, command and control, maintenance and field operation. The Apaches, together with the country's Wildcat reconnaissance choppers, provide the British Army with the deep attack capability necessary to survive future wars. During the exercise, the US made helicopters and the regiment operating them successfully conducted strike missions on simulated enemy positions based on the attack plan provided. To achieve validation, every single function that we deliver as a regiment has been tested in a realistic scenario that reflects the challenges of modern operations, 3 Regiment Army Air Corps Commanding Officer Lt. Col. Rich Simcock said. He added that the exercise allowed the service to show how it can sustain itself and survive on the battlefield with the help of the new R-64S by striking targets far behind enemy lines to give troops a decisive advantage. Interestingly, the aforementioned is not expected to discourage further orders for the R-64E Apache, Guardians. The British Army has so far acquired around 16 out of the planned 50. Moreover, an announcement dated October 23 by the Defence and Security Cooperation Agency reveals approval for the UK to secure 3,000 AGM-179 AJAGM joint air-to-ground missiles for usage with the AH-64E of the British Army. The potential deal is expected to be worth approximately $957.4 million, translating to nearly £790 million. The proposed sale is aligned with aiding the UK in countering present and impending threats. The capability derived from this sale would fortify the defence of its territory and deter regional threats. The UK's armed forces are not expected to encounter difficulties in assimilating this equipment and services, as indicated by DSCA. AGM-179A, originally developed by Lockheed Martin as a successor to AGM-114 Hellfire, only achieved initial operational capability early in 2022 when deployed by the United States Marine Corps on their R-1Z attack helicopters. Both Poland and the Netherlands have expressed interest in acquiring this advanced missile system. It is noteworthy that an enhanced version of this missile, with a range of up to 16 kilometers, is currently under development. most advanced attack helicopter manufactured by Boeing, the AH-64E Apache features state-of-the-art drivetrains and rotor blades for improved flying performance. It also has advanced sights and sensors, communication systems for better interoperability, and embedded maintenance diagnostic systems for faster repair. Furthermore, the chopper has improved nighttime operation capabilities and is capable of controlling a couple of unmanned aerial vehicles. The R-64E is the most advanced attack helicopter in the world, and the step change it brings in terms of lethality, agility, survivability, and how it can communicate and integrate with other capabilities is nothing short of revolutionary, Simcock explained. Simcock disclosed that British aircrew and engineers have been on training courses in preparation for the frontline service of the American choppers. The maneuvers involve some 8,000 troops working out of 22 locations across the South West, West Midlands and Wales.
50 Apache R-64E version 6 aircraft have been purchased from the United States to provide a state-of-the-art attack aviation capability that will be a key element of how the Army fights in the coming decades, as set out in the future soldier program. The R-64E replaces the Apache Mk.1, which entered service in 2001 and proved itself as a battle-winning asset in Afghanistan and Libya, 